Joe B, a movie and a bottle of wine. Hey everybody, it's Joe B and Matt. And we got the cat here. She's passed out. I've been rubbing her belly like a crocodile. She's been you lazy her. all she's, day. She's she's got her hand on her tummy or paw on her tummy and she's just so She's been so lazy so happy. all day. My butt sore from sitting here keeping her comfortable in my lap because she's been in my lap all day. Oh, ow! My biscuits are burning! Does she understand, appreciate the sacrifice? Good oh grief. my goodness. Shit, lazy day. Yeah. We have tried to do absolutely everything we possibly could not do for two days. We did absolutely nothing. Wow. We've just laid around here. My dad came and got his hair cut this morning, and I popped in Sex in the City. The cat and I watched the first two seasons of Sex in the City. You found that for free, right? At yeah. Second and Charles. Yeah. Right up here on Midlothian Turnpike. You go in no, the door. No, Hull Street. Hull Street. I'm sorry. Hull Street. Yeah, Hull Chattanooga Street. Plaza. Yes. You wow. go in the door and you go right to the right and there's like three or four bins and it's books. And I, I say I got a Roku 2 for my mom one time and right. I get movies all the time. I actually went up to go to Walmart to get some Redbox That's movies. That's right, right. Next door. Yeah. But I, I was like, you know what? I found these movies. I don't need to get any Redbox The first movies. two seasons of Sex in the City for free. Loved it. Wow. And uh, I got another one. It was called uh, uh, Lucky Slevin. Where did I write that? On the yeah. back. Mm -hmm. Lucky Slevin. It had Bruce Willis and what What was her name? The little Chinese girl? Oh, Lucy, Lucy Liu. Liu. Lucy Liu, And yeah. who was the main character? The young guy. I didn't write all this down this week. We're all just getting mad on this one. Yeah. Um, I got it sitting over here. Anyway, it was it was a pretty decent movie. Yeah. Morgan from, Freeman was in it, and yeah. Uh, yeah, some other people. It was like, but Bruce Willis, yeah. So what I got out of it was Bruce Willis was sent to kill the kid, and uh, the Slevin kid, and he didn't kill him, and he killed his family, but he took on Slevin to raise, um, and Bruce Willis was like a, a hired assassin. Right. And he was uh, high dollar because he was going to kill the kid, but he didn't kill the kid. Oh, okay. So uh, another one that I got out of the oh, there free she box. Goes. Okay, there she goes. Look at. Cheryl. Bye. Wait, cat, don't go. <laughs> another one I got out of the uh, yeah. free box mm -hmm. but... was Heidi Fleiss. Oh yes, uh huh. I like that movie a lot. She was that uh, high dollar madam in Hollywood. Yes. And she, had, she took over the business for that older lady. Yes. Um, got her arrested and everything. I don't know if she really had to do with her being arrested, but she took over her business. Right. It, that was an interesting movie. I learned a lot from it. Yep. True story. She was a smart girl. Based on a true story. Yeah. Yep. Um, another one that I had to text Matt about was called The Professor. Um, it had Johnny Depp in it. Mm -hmm. And he looks so good and so young in it. I'm sorry, y'all. I got cat hair on my face. Woo. Where'd that come from? Hey, imagine that. <laughs> um, Johnny Depp looks so young and he looks so good. I, I right. thought it was an older movie. No, it just made and last year. And then I year. showed yeah. Matt all of the previews that came on before it were way older movies, but Matt said it had to do They were with all the like Saban movies, which are the people that produced the Power Rangers, so I think that even though they were older coming attractions on the DVD, it was because it was the same company. They wanted it was to push, all good movies, push their product, right. All of the movies yeah. that they showed would have been good movies to watch. So you, you reviewed a couple of them. I can't remember the titles, but you reviewed a yeah, couple of them. Yeah, one of them already. had Uma Thurman in it, yes. and they mm -hmm. were switching that ring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, The Professor was good. Johnny Depp, uh, he comes down with stage four cancer. He's a college professor. Um, he goes home to tell his family that he has this cancer and he's going to die. And his daughter comes out and professes that she is a lesbian. And she gets a, uh, the mother is in disbelief of it and makes her angry, so she leaves the table. So after the daughter leaves the table, the mother tells or the wife tells the husband that uh, she has been having an affair oh, great. with the college uh, dean which is of course his boss because right. he's the college nothing professor. higher in the college than the dean yeah mm -hmm. so they decide to live together amicably he still never really tells them until the very bitter end that he has cancer and then uh, he teaches his class but he teaches it in a different way it was it was an interesting movie okay. i like johnny depp yeah i just like him yeah he's but a good uh, actor. i showed matt the end and we were trying to figure it out he it has a kind the, of an ambiguous ending yeah he's leaving his family this is it this is the end he comes spoiler down. alert <laughs> spoiler alert 
Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, totally. Spoiler alert. Totally. But you try to figure it out and let us know if you figure it out because we, we didn't right. come up with anything. And I'm going to go on the red box reviews and see if everybody else was just as perplexed as I was about the ending of this movie. But he comes to the end of the road and it goes to the left or the right, but he goes straight, which looks like it goes across a field and into the ocean. No, into a river. A yeah. A river, some body of water. But it, our biggest concern was the dog was in the car. Yeah, he now. brought his dog with him. So it's like you wouldn't commit suicide with your dog. Yeah. yeah. And why didn't he leave the dog at home? He left his daughter standing there on the porch. Why right. didn't he leave the dog but there? It, but it reminded me of the ending of Castaway, where Tom Hanks is driving his car, and he stops, and there's like a road going this way, a road going that way. And he looks at the camera, and you go like, he's going to figure out, where do I go from here? In this movie, he... Johnny Depp goes left or right. I'm gonna go forward through this field. Straight. I don't Straight know. Straight through the it field. It looked like a cornfield or something. We yeah, there could be like potholes, and there could be branches, and there could be like a you yeah. know whatever. Anyways, it's an ambiguous ending. And then the camera tilts up, and it looks like Starry Night from Vincent Van Gogh. And I think there was a reference to that earlier okay. in the movie. So watch for that uh, Van Gogh. But anyways, reference. an ambiguous ending. Okay. You make your own ending. It's like the what is the end of the Muppet movie, life is a movie, make your own ending, like that. <laughs> but I would watch that movie if I were you. I really enjoyed it. I like Johnny Depp. Okay. I like his character. All right. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the fickle finger of fate gave us some really good ones this week. Last week was Stinkeroo this week? No, yeah. So, yeah. so um, the professor was uh, okay. one of them. A little was our feature this week. Okay. Um, it was so cute. It had Regina Hall in it. I'm trying to think. She is a comedian, and I just, uh, I just think she's funny as crap. Okay. She um, was a little girl, and she got treated badly. Everybody picked on her and treated her very badly. She was really smart. Okay. And she said, well, when I grow up, I'm going to treat people badly before they can treat me badly. Right. And she starts her own business, and then this little girl comes for the donut truck and puts a spell on her that makes her little. Yep. So she wakes up the next morning and she's little and then her assistant that she's treated badly always is like her guardian and like social services comes and tells them that they have to put her in school yep. and, and all this stuff. So she's got to go back to school. Well, it's the school that she went to that she was tortured and bullied in. <laughs> and she's it's so funny. She's got the, the puffy hair, but the kids take and just shove straws in her hair. And she doesn't know that it's happening because her hair is so puffy. And she gets over to the table and does something and one of the straws falls out. And she realizes she's got about ten different colored straws that they stuck down in her hair because they're picking on her. But she comes back and kicks everybody's ass. Alright. Yeah, she shows everybody. <laughs> she shows everybody and she gets to be friends with these little kids that are kind of nerds. and, and uh, yeah. they, they, Oh, it's really we cute. all learn a lesson. And I don't want to spoil the end of it, but... Go ahead. Spoiler alert! Luke and Leia are brothers! But what kind of crazy thing is this, Of course, ahead. she comes back grown up after she learns her life lesson and goes on with her life as a better person. Oh, that wasn't much of a spoiler. That so, sounds like... I could have written that. We almost that. anticipated that. <laughs> but it, it, was, yeah. it was really cute. Okay. Um, another one that I watched, um, this was towards the end of last week because mm -hmm. I was running out of shit to watch in okay. the red box, yep. so I was kind of picking straws. Scraping that bottom picking of that straws, barrel. Picking straws, get it, from, picking my, straws. from my last yep. one. Mm -hmm. um, the dead, dead Trigger. Uh, it had Dolph Lundgren in it. It had to do with zombies. They had pole dancing zombies in it, guys. What? Pole dancing zombies. It was funny <laughs> shit. I'm going to have to actually watch this one. Because some of these zombies, you know, they're going on with their life yeah. as though they were still oh, alive. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So, um, the, Stripper zombies, okay. The kids are picked to fight the zombies according to how well they do on this video game. So they're masters of this video game killing zombies, so they take them and train them. But the funny thing is when they go to the training camp, some of them die of, like, the, the one boy comes out, and he's supposed to be a big gun-shooting specialist, and he takes the gun, and mm -hmm. he spins it all around, and he cocks it, and they let the zombies out, and he's supposed to target practice on it, 
and and it, he's so shocked he drops the gun and it goes off and blows his head off. Yikes! And then you, the, one of the girls comes out there and she's supposed to do all this shit with knives and kill the zombies and everything, and she ends up getting killed. And if you get bit or scratched in any way from the zombies, you're going to turn into a zombie right. and they have to kill you, and right. that happens to one of them. So the training camp was a, quite an eliminating process for a lot of the so. <laughs> trainees involved. I would involved. say so. But um, that, it, it ended up being a good movie. Okay. Um, but watch for the pole dancing zombies. That's entertaining. Pole dancing zombies. That's my takeaway. Yes. Um, I watched another one. Uh, it, I really enjoyed it. It was called The Public. The Public stood for the Public Library. I think it was in Chicago. This movie was written, directed, and he was the star Emilio Estevez. Um, he works in the library, and during the day, the homeless people all come in the library and camp out and read books and go on the internet and okay. all this stuff. So it, 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 it just it's so friggin' cold, people that the, the people are the homeless people are dying on the sidewalk in front of the library at night when they can't be in there. So they're always hauling off a different dead body every day from the cold. Wow. So. That one night, uh, the homeless people decide that they're going to camp out in the library. They're going to take over the library, and they get Emilio Estevez that works there involved in it. And, okay. and as you go along, you find out that Emilio Estevez had a drinking and drug problem, and he was a homeless person at one time, so okay. he has more sympathy than okay. a lot of the others yeah. for him. Um, so they camp out for the night, but the, the best part was the very, very end. Yeah. Um, you know, they make their point, they yeah. do and such, but uh -huh. in order to keep from getting hurt by the police officers, because the police come with all that uh, riot, riot gear, gear and everything, yeah. uh -huh. and they're, they're going yeah. to hurt somebody. Somebody's going to get hurt. The guys go out completely naked. <laughs> it's about, it's at least a hundred homeless people. So they take all their clothes off and they have their hands up or, or whatever. Okay. And they go out and they fill up two city buses with all these naked homeless men <clears throat> to take them to jail. It was, re it was a good story. I liked it. Um, the public. Okay. Um, one of the ones that I searched for last week almost endlessly was Dumbo. Oh my God. I had to see Dumbo. It was so cute. Um, Let's see. Michael Keaton was the bad guy, just like he was in that McDonald's movie. Huh. Yeah. Okay. He was the bad guy. All right. Um, the, the movie where the guy took over the McDonald's right. from the McDonald's mm -hmm. brothers. Uh, Michael Keaton, bad guy. Uh, it had Danny DeVito. Uh, he was the circus owner, and it had Colin Farrell. He was the um, father of the kids that had to do with Dumbo. Okay. And he helped on training him. He was there to train the elephants cool. and all. Um there was a guy in the movie, I swear he looked like a young Christopher Reeves, and I was wondering if he might be Christopher Reeves' son or something. Hmm. Um, I'm sure Matt will check that out. Okay. There was no special features at the end of the movie. What? With all that, all that special effects and animatronics right. and whatever yeah. kind of stuff. Computer-generated CGI. There was no special features. I really wanted to learn more. You know how I like to well, learn you know, more at the very about... Least, yeah, exactly. It's a Tim Burton movie. <laughs> and it's starring Michael Keaton and Danny DeVito, yeah. who were in Tim Burton's Batman Returns. He was Batman and Penguin, so they're reunited again. So. Shazam. Ba-boom. So. But oh, well. I, lo I loved it. The, the little elephant had great big blue eyes yeah. and great big floppy ears, and he held uh, that little flat feather, and oh. he would fly around, and, and the girl was uh, working on flying on his back, and, and it was really cool. cool. So uh, I'm telling you, I had a good week this good. week. Um, Matt and I had Mato wine. We didn't have anything special. I, Tried I had, and true. I had a, a loco. I had my fruit punch loco. Fruit punch. Yeah. We had a great calzone dinner. Yep. There you go. <laughs> so, in Can't the end, it. you guys need to watch everything oh, well, that I watched. Real this quick, week. real quick. We, we watched The Long Goodbye tonight. I really Which is that. an old movie by Robert Altman. And uh, starring Elliot Gould, it's Philip Marlowe, but set in the 70s, mm -hmm. and just a very interesting kind of um, offbeat, quirky detective story with a great ending. Yeah. And a cat, yeah. like Joby's cat, you know, a very <laughs> finicky, demanding cat. <laughs> hopefully, but, they never did say, but hopefully in the end, the cat was all right. Yeah. They never did say. Well, the say. cat comes back, you know. 
I mean, the little hippie topless girls next door. Right. Hopefully they had the cat the, somewhere in He there. comes back, here's your cat. Okay. <laughs> and the cat's the, and the cat, he's like, I can't find the cat food for you. And it runs away again. <laughs> in the next movie, next sequel or whatever. It reminds if there, if me of my mother's one. cat. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. All right. So in conclusion, yes. Dumbo, mm -hmm. thumbs up. The public, thumbs up. Cool. Uh, Dead Trigger, thumbs up. Wow. Who'd, have, who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? It was the last movie Dolph of the Lundgren. week last week, right? Lundgren. Lund 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 Lundgren. 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 Yeah. He he looks so good in the Rocky movie. And he was in Rocky and he played He-Man in the Master of the Universe movie back yeah. in the 80s. Yeah. He, I don't know. He used to look good. I don't know what happened Hey, to him. time. Time <laughs> hits you like this, you know? It, <laughs> As long as you're still yeah. on your two feet you're, and you're talking and you're, you're living and having a good time, doesn't matter. A little powder, a little paint to nope. make a little girl look like what she ain't. <laughs> <laughs> there you got gotcha. you. All right. Um, little. Totally watched Little. Okay. That was really good. Cool. Um, the Professor, I really enjoyed it. And then I got my old movies. You know, if you got a chance to watch Heidi Fleiss or Sex in the City or Lucky Slevin, okay. go for it. Sure. And we got some cute words that I think we should all try to use in uh -oh. our vocabulary. It's like this the electric week. company. Here we yes. go. Ick. Chick. Yes. Go ahead. What, what so you got? So we were watching Rabbit. We've really been enjoying that. Yeah. That's been bringing Year of the, the Rabbit. It's a, it's, a, it's a British. Uh, comedy like a uh, detective story it's in the 1800s we're yes. loving it we're totally loving it it's so funny all right so our words are miscreant and scallywag Ooh. if you have an opportunity you should throw these words at somebody because it'll be like throwing a softball at their head <laughs> they'll just about fall but over bam, trying to what? wrap their head around it did he just say scallywag Scal miscreant miscreant does that, is that scallywag some kind of miscreant, or is that miscreant some kind of scallywag? <laughs> Who knows? So when you say these words, watch their faces, okay. because it's going to be like, what just hit them in the face? Right. <laughs> so y'all have a great week. Today is my mom's birthday. Yay. I'm going to take her Happy to the birthday, Olive Garden Puddin. tomorrow. Yay. <laughs> I got her a nice card, and I'm going to take cool. her a pretty plant. My mom Aww. loves a pretty plant. There you go. Something I can plant in the yard. That's good. <laughs> so y'all have a good one. Enjoy the movies, my God. You know, it's hard to get a good batch of movies, but we did it this week. Yes. So y'all come back and see us next week. Hopefully I'll have as good to report. Yeah, come back next week, you miscreants and you scallywags. <laughs> Don't be a scallywag. <laughs> come back next week. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for watching Joby, a movie and a bottle of wine. Don't be a scallywag. <laughs> <laughs> I love those movies.